This poet, essayist, German Turner by birth and associate professor of English at um, Ursinus College, has a new book entitled Brief Evidence of Heaven, Poems from the Life of Anna Murray Douglas. And if you love what you hear, which we know you will, you can contact her at Brief Evidence at Yahoo.com. So without further ado, we're going to bring her up to share her poetry with you this evening. Please give it up for M. Enzadi Keita. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Give it all the way up. Just thank you to everybody with Ger Germantown Arts Roundtable who put this together. It's been a lot, quite a lot of work. Woo! Kind of to tell you. Um, so it's good to see you all again. Uh, my name is Nzadi Keita. Uh, I've lived in Germantown uh, most of my life, and um, I'm happy to be on the program. Uh, these, I'm, I like birds a lot, so these first. Three poems are about crows. I don't hate on crows. <laughs> it's called, uh, it's really three parts of one poem. It's called Sunday Worship Service. The crow calls in fours. Black truth reopening the seams of the world to service what we forget to feel. The crow counts time by fours. Her black tongue bears a benevolent scream. Crows keep crying on their altars. Will you stir? Will you utter what you knew at birth? That bygone voice, stark and still, that most faded thing in you. mentioned that I have a new book out and I have a few copies on hand if anybody's interested to buy. It's called uh, Brief Evidence of Heaven, Poems from the Life of Anna Mary Douglas. Everybody knows who Frederick Douglass was. Nobody knows who Anna Mary Douglas was. And they were married for 44 years. So I thought she needed some poems. Uh, to make up for our collective ignorance. So uh, I started writing poems and it, it got a little out of hand. Um, I, yeah, it's like 70 poems in the book. Um, one of the interesting things about her is that she could not read and write. And that might have something to do with why we don't know who she is. Um, I'm going to read one that has to do with her fascination with the alphabet. It's called A in the Morning Dirt. So my theory is Anna Mary Douglas uh, was married to like probably the most literate black man in the 19th century and she couldn't read and write so she was maybe a little insecure and uh, she was trying to teach herself I think. So this is what she thought about the letter that starts her name. My mark starts the chain, leading all words from crawl and baby chatter. A names the steps to singing, like that young man in Bethlehem who turns storm into hammers, who carries straw, seeds, and a world on his tongue. From the grace of A, all words walk and taste their own salt before they get to running like that Miss Tubman. 
guns clapped to her hips like a child, going at the front with God in a symbol. I'm going to read a couple of poems from way later in the book. Um, Anna Douglas and Frederick Douglass had a child who died when that child was 10 years old. Um, the child's name was Annie. Um, so, uh, I don't know, you know, I thought the book was going to be about one, one person's voice, but then other people's voice got into it. So Annie had a few things to say, and so these poems are called Spirit Letters. I'm only reading, uh, there's a few of them, I'm only reading two. The fourth one, this is the fourth Spirit Letter. So again, this is the 10 year old who died, and she's speaking to her mother from beyond the grave, from the afterlife. I am speed now, mama. Sweetness itself. I am the brimming dawn inside you. I am red doors, mouthfuls, our glorious hair. I am green skirts carrying northern lakes straight to your feet. I am all surfaces and joys. Always sound never bells. I am the feel of things. Thank you. You're a very nice audience. Uh, so here's two more spirit letters. The sixth spirit letter from Annie Douglas. She's talking to her mother again. Maybe that happened because Frederick Douglas was in Europe when this child died. So, can you imagine trying to get back from Europe in a hurry in the 19th century? Yeah, didn't happen. So, um, Anna Douglas was there watching her child die by herself, and they had to bury her, I think, by herself. So, spirit letter number six. Pray, Mama, when you miss me in daylight, and peel back the prayers like petals. Leave them by my favorite parlor window. I will fold them into wings. I love you. It's all right. Um, a seventh and last spirit letter is this. When you miss me in dark blue, scoop your hands like our rice barrel dipper under the evening. Your hands will fill up with sky. Come and know we bear anything awful beside you. Mama, you could never know me as well as now. That's it. So my last poem. My last poem, maybe my last poem, I might squeeze one more, but um, this is a poem, so that was the youngest daughter who died uh, young. This is a poem in the voice of the oldest daughter, whose name was Rosetta, Rosetta Douglas. And I imagine that Rosetta was writing a journal. So this is called 1879, Journal Entries. Rosetta Douglas Sprague. So actually, she's grown up and married at this point. July 10th. Men and marriage and a way made straight but not plain. I could never read all that you have set down, Mother. August 7th. Mother reads water. All kinds. She brings dirt and seeds close to speech with brief passes of hand. She makes a better anything than me. And how is that when I have had at least some time to flounce? 
when I have dropped stitches and carried Latin verbs while her arms caked with clay and wet white clothes needing cautious management. October 25th. I have never wanted to measure what a God who made us all gave me or think how I will sow it to my inheritance from her will and wood and midnights. <laughs> Give it up one more time for M and Zade Kita. Like her works, please contact her at Brief Evidence of Heaven at Yahoo.com. So um as the light is dimming and the atmosphere looks so so beautiful, because we got beautiful people amongst us and we have beautiful talented artists to share this evening with. I am definitely elated. Now we were scheduled to have the great Sonia Sanchez to recite, but she had taken ill as is for recent. So we are unable to have her this evening. But in spirit, we want to honor uh, some of her works. Um, and as I said earlier, as the people are filling in, if you didn't get this, if you uh, if you have a Sonia poem and you just feel, you feel in the moment and you want to recite it, let us know, we, we will let you share. Because we definitely want to give her positive energy in her uh, healing at this time. So. Um, I'm going to do something I, I usually don't do, so I'm going to re recite one of my uh, personal favorites from Sonya, and I'm going to do it off my phone, and I never, I'm old school, I don't do poems off the phone, because my phone froze one time, I was trying to, and went to a whole nother page, and I had to freestyle the rest of the way, and they was like, wow, you was just talking about heaven, now you talking about simply lemonade, I don't know how that words go, um, you know, from heaven, someone sent me a full bottle of Simply. You know how it goes, you gotta wing it, so. But um, this one is called Personal Letter Number Three. <coughs> Nothing will keep us young, you know. Not young men or women who spend their youth on cool, plain sounds. We are what we are, what we never think we are, no more wild geographies of the flesh echoes that we move in tune to slower smells. It is a hard thing to admit that sometimes after midnight, I am tired of it all. So that's one of uh, Sonia Sanchez's personal letters, number three, because, you know, as I get the salt and pepper bed, I remind myself, I get a little lethargic sometimes. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to turn up and turn down all at the same time so you know I end up uh, not turning up at all so you know that's just uh, the age of maturity so um, also uh, with that being said how are we on time we ready to get into the next or um, am I overdoing things um, which I, I, I told you I would do anyway so I, okay alright my peripheral vision is not that strong either so you know you might jump in front of me to shut me up but um, I'm here because I'm your host I'm, I'm D Lance and I'm your poetic host this evening, and I hope I'm keeping you awake, or the libation is keeping you at least entertained. The, the talent ain't, you know. Uh, like we said, ain't no, no alcohol allowed in the park, but whatever's concealed in your Pepsi bottle won't be revealed unless by yourself. If you tell on yourself, and you see these lights, you don't want them flashing on you. So, um, yeah, anyway, all right, so you want me to uh, bring up the next act, right? All right, okay, that's no problem. So these lights are shining and um, they're actually not helping me read her bio. I mean, I could talk about it for days in my, in my own words, but, you know, they uh, want me to say some of the beautiful things that, you know, you may need to know or that you already know, so that's better. So, okay, all right. You got a poem for Sonya later, sir? Just, just asking, watch that light too. You know, is this solar energy on here? Organic? Light? Just making sure, because, um, yeah, I could have brought candles, too. Just, uh, it would have made the stage. It would have added a nice little effect to the stage, I think. You know, 
thank you. All right. Yes, yeah, see, that's that's an interior decorative visionary that just spoke. She said it's it's cool like it is. So thank you for the podium too. I appreciate that. You are on time, sir. All right. So now let's uh, do Crouch and Tiger with the Lane and Mike. Um, so uh, yeah. So she is a Philadelphia-born poet, mother, activist, and recording artist. She has been performing, recording, and releasing works for over 17 years. Ursula has traveled and toured extensively throughout North America, Europe, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, and Africa. I ain't been out the States yet. Sharing her poetry, her heart, and soul. She is dedicated to art, with social change, and committed to freedom fighting, truth telling, and peace. And a little troublemaking through her chosen art form. To date, Ursula has released five solo albums, Super Sister, Silver or Lead, My Yacht Mama, Ruckus, Sound Saddam, She Said, as well as collaborating on over 50 songs in a wide array of musical genres with producer artists from around the world such as King Brit, Bahamadea, The Roots, For Hero, Jazzanova, Louis Vega, and In Louis Vega Incognito. Ursula was awarded both the Leeway Foundation's Art for Change and Transformation Awards. She is the feature of a documentary short called Poet, and currently she has just completed her first book, Drown the Devil, a collaborative project of poems and photos dedicated to New Orleans with Pulitzer Prize winning photojournalist Clarence Williams. So without further ado, we're going to bring to you Grammy nominated poet in Germantown, Energy, Ursula Rucker. This, is this the one you were using? Darius, is this the one you were using? Because this is the hot one. <laughs> Telling all those jokes and shit. Oh, are there kids here? Oh. We in Vernon Park, y'all know. You know what I'm saying? It's Germantown. Is there kids here? So what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is Mr. Tim Mato on the guitar. My long, long, long time homie, collaborator, co-creator, my artist, music, husband type thing. But we not, you know, I'm saying, you know, it's, it's not like that. We just, we do this. White cloud rivers ran through me. I felt them pass through my bones, through liver and lung and stomach. Washed me out into the big white cloud lake. And I floated. Washed me into the big white cloud lake and I floated. No knowledge of swimming. 
but I floated right between fear and mountains just beneath blues and birds right next to the sun and God even in the middle of wind even in the middle of wind humbled 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 Right next to the sun, right next to the sun. And God, humble, humble, humble. to do with all of them so it's you know don't want to mess anything up um that's so cool to be in germantown i just gotta drive around the corner and go over there uh, i can stop at park manor and get me a little something something if i want on the way home huh i'm just playing i'm not playing but i'm saying this is so exciting i'm glad you all came give it up for paul paul and Paula Paul Paul and them, all the people that made, I mean, this is awesome. Where the news trucks at? Just checking in on you to see how you be doing. Cause people be saying it's the end when really it's the beginning. Yes, life is filled with strife and sin, but life is in the living. It's also filled with love and life. So what you gon' just give in? So what you gon' just give in? Yeah, one, two. One, two, three, four. Ethnic, democratic, economic, geographic. Tell me what's your demographic? I'ma put it on the chart and graph it. Reduce your life to data and statistics. It's tragic, cause a human's life ain't worth shit. Don't get mad at me for saying it. Since we talk on records, it's recorded. And if you knew some history, then we could call it historical. If you had a heart or religion, then maybe you'd deplore it. So make a flick, put some music to it. I got some people who can score it, but... The simple truth of the matter is, the truth is simply epic. Racism, sexism, intolerance, and justice are pandemic. The absence of a system of checks and balances in this country is systemic. So, let's fix it. 
I'm just checking in on you to see how you be doing Cause people be saying it's the end when really it's the beginning Yes, life is filled with stress and sin But life is in the living It's also filled with love and life So what you gon' just give in? So what you gon' just give in? Yeah, one, two, one, two Three. Why don't you take this life that you've been given, be grateful, sink it, put it in rhythm, and it's okay if you a bit offbeat, but still timing is everything, so open your mind, stop hating, find some space in your heart for some new information, swear off complacence, end your affair with lamestream radio stations, make a commitment to nurture the next generation, replace your miseducation with truth, peace, and this process takes time, so be patient. And friends, it's time for some revision, adjustment, reconstruction, revolution, you know, changing, you know, changing. And um, I'm just checking in on you to see how you be doing, cause people be saying it's the end when really it's the beginning, yes. Life is filled with stress and sin, but life is in the living. It's also filled with love and life. So what you gon' just give in? So what you gon' just give in? And I'm just checking in on you to see how you be doing. Cause people be saying it's the end when really it's the beginning. Yes, life is filled with stress and sin, but life is in the living. Also filled with love and lies So what you gon' just give in 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 to do. Let me get my phone out because I'm um, saying I read my shit off my phone sometimes. <laughs> I paid a lot for this job. I'm going to use it. <laughs> you feel me? A lot. <laughs> like a lot, a lot. <laughs> like a stupid amount. You know when you like break your, like just, oh my god, my phone is broken. What am I ever going to do? I just can't live. I can't survive. Sure, I'll give you all my money just so I can have this thing, you know, and stay connected and disconnected at the same time. <laughs> so, um, okay. This poem is called Catholic. I was like, you're almost Catholic in the ways you've done and do me. I mean, you're ritualistic with that shit. How you commit to betraying, mistreating, deceiving, altering me. Maybe in a strange but familiar way I was and your religion. You practice and unpractice me at will. When you feel like being faithful, you come to me prayerfully and lovingly with feigned devotion, with alms even sometimes. Reciting my verse like a pseudo well-studied scholar, then when you feel like being heathen and without faith, you deface my altar, worship false idols, try to strip me of my goddess, my saint names, steal the alms you once gave me, leave my church barren. And when you are feeling repentant, you, place flowers 
at my sacristy door. Burn incense. Bathe me in holy waters and oils. Wrap me in your dark priest vestments. Sing my favorite hymns like you mean it, but you don't mean any of it. You hypocrite. You might want to find a new church in which to worship. I have converted to a new ism. The church slash prison doors are closed until no further notice. by gator dance, right? And if you don't, nope. whatever. But now, I will rewrite history. Super sister, I see you all in the distance. Coming at me like a twister. Packing more force than a four time. Heavyweight champion. Kinky coil top cauldron of pain, passion, and black mama strength, hell bent on making your mark in this world. Angry ghetto grown world of girl, huh? Swirling, twirling your way through the darkest of days and the brightest of nights, trying to fit. Some love in between super sister, yeah, super sister, sister, super sister, yeah, super sister, sister. Yeah. Yo, man. 
mission is clear. Fear is not even an option with your son. On that front line, ain't no time. Grab your tech nine. Don't give them suckers one second to think. Two, three, four, or to blink. Two, three, four. Super sister, good. Super sister, sister. Super sister, yeah. Super sister, sister. As you deconstruct their preconceived misconceptions Two, three, four, blow, wake their notions Right up out the ocean pathway to your auction yeah. Rape, hate, blame, conversion G-Town, Germantown, Night Under the Stars, and um, we're going to take a brief intermission. Um, 